Hey everybody, Steven here and huge news for PC people today and fans of Red Dead Redemption 2 because the game is finally coming to the PC. Now, this has been one of those things that there's just been rumors of since the game launched. For anybody that remembers or that saw earlier earlier this year there was actually like leaked footage of some of the graphical tweaks um, that were going to be present now whether or not that was real at least from the video that I saw it looked very very real um, but I mean I know people do mods and things like that so um, definitely one of those things that everybody has speculated that it's going to happen and now we finally get the announcement that it is for sure happening so Rockstar also launched their own game launcher right so if you sign up before october 9th you actually get some games for free and i believe it's and we'll look through this uh, i think you get san andreas for free but it's coming to pc november 5th right that image is really really cool so um it's coming to pc november 5th and you get special bonuses for those that pre-purchase through the rockstar game launcher before the 9th so this is the fourth so you got five days just got announced um, with this, uh, you're going to get the yep San Andreas for free, and you're getting enhancements and new story mode content. Super curious about that. For those that played through the game, I mean, the story is long. It's like 60 missions, right? Like, it takes a long time to get through. One of the most compelling stories I've, I've played in a long time. Um, to me, it reminds me of Breaking Bad and that you're seeing just kind of the downward spiral of all these people, right? And whether or not you choose to go and, and be bad or be good in that, right, um, the story changes. But it really, regardless, is just this downward spiral. You know it's not going to end well, right? <laughs> um, so with this, it says uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 for PC features a range of graphical and technical enhancements, enhancements for increased immersion along with new bounty hunting missions, gang hideouts, weapons, and more. So that's on the story mode side, right? And then I'm just curious to see what the graphical changes and the tweaks and all of that, especially because I have a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor um, and I have a beefy 1080 Ti. I'm curious to see just how far I can push that. So the increase in and in change in resolution, I mean, I'm already playing it on four, in 4K on the Xbox One X, but the uh, frame rate, right, because I can push this to 100 uh, frames per second. Now it's not as high as all right, we get into 144, 165, 200, 240, but just to see it at a higher frame rate is going to be really, really cool to see. Um, it says with this, uh, you also get uh, included is free access to the shared living world of Red Dead Online. Um, you're getting all the previous improvements and latest content with that, um, including the frontier pursuits and the specialist roles and all that other stuff, right? Um, I'm curious, and the the big question for me with that is, because I've already played this story, yeah, I want to look at it, I'll play a little bit, I probably won't hammer through it like I did when I first got the game, but I want to see, are you going to be able to port over your current online character, right? So I've invested a lot of time on the Xbox One X. And I do have my account linked through Rockstar um, Online with uh, their software because um, I have the app and everything. I'm wondering if they will allow you to port that over. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed because I don't want to have to start over with that. And I know that they're going to announce more info, and as they do, I'll talk about that as well. But that's the big hang-up for me is are they going to allow you to do that? So we'll see when they announce more um, later this month. I think they, in the next week or so, are going to announce with that. So uh, pre-purchase um, begins at 11 a.m. on October 9th. Um, and then with that, you get exclusive stuff. Um, limited time offer during the period of two free Rockstar games for PC. And these are the ones you get. So if you pre-purchase... Um, then, let's see, we get Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Bully, L.A. Noir, and then Max Payne 3. 
Um, very, very cool to see. You, you may get three games on top of that. Definitely a, uh, a very good buy there. I'm assuming it's still going to be the 60 bucks too. Um, you get unique... Let's see, it says also includes free upgrades to premium editions of Red Dead Redemption 2 with both the special edition and ultimate edition discounted by $20. Further pre-purchase bonuses via Rockstar Game Launcher include... So this is really, really cool. Um, and that's if you're going with their launcher. Outlaw Survival Kit for Story Mode, War Horse for Story Mode, Treasure Map for Story Mode, Cash Bonuses for Story Mode, and then 50 Gold Bars for Red Dead Online. For those that buy Gold Bars, you know that that's $20. So it's $20 to buy, and you get like a bonus 5, so you get 55 for 20 bucks. but still, that's, I mean, that's 20 bucks, right? Additional information here. You can get it through the Epic Game Store, Green Man Gaming, Humble Store, GameStop, um, and additional digital retailers starting October 23rd uh, with a pre-order bonus of 24, 25 gold bars for a dead online. That's 10 bucks. Um, and then this is interesting for me, which is that Red Dead 2 for PC will also be available to purchase on Steam in December. I don't know what the hang-up is. That whole kind of ecosystem and everything that's going on within that like Epic Game Launcher and then the Steam and like certain games go here first before all of that. <clears throat> Interesting to me to see how some of that stuff plays out. And I'm always curious is like what is behind that? What's behind the delay on Steam here? Um, especially in light of certain other games going on like uh, another game that I love to play is Destiny 2. It now being available on Steam and everybody needing to port over from uh, Blizzard over to that is is interesting. Um, Why did they choose Steam over Epic Game or whatever it may be? Like, and I know that information's out there, but looking at different big games going to some of these different launchers and having that exclusivity with that particular launcher. I know I'll just get the Red Dead one. I mean, all the stuff that you get with it, it's hard to pass up, right? So, uh, go back. It says, check back to the Rockstar Newswire on October 9th for the first screenshot, system specifications, and additional details. I think that's when they're actually going to tell everybody certain things, especially my big question. Hey, will we be able to port this over or not? And to see the graphical settings will be really, really cool. And how detail-oriented that is. Because, I mean, if you're on your Xbox, like I said, my Xbox One X, I get to tweak the HDR settings um, and a couple other things, but that's about it, right? So to see the jump is going to be awesome. So that is it, everybody. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on the 9th when they actually announce all this other stuff, so check back soon for that. I know a lot of other people are talking about this. Anybody else that has other information, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section and keep me up to date as well. I'm just going to be combing the internet for this stuff um, in the next couple days until they launch and announce everything else. But uh, let me know what you guys think. So check back soon for that video on October 9th. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and any information that you might have that isn't on here um, that you've been able to find out. Thanks for watching.